Today I am going to show you something spectacular. Well, in this star filled sky, there are some stars which are just shooting by. You know, they are just passing by with high speed and leaving a streak of light behind them. Do you know what these are? <laughs> these are the same shooting stars which you must have heard about. They say that if you wish something while you see a shooting star, that may come true. <laughs> well, actually, these shooting stars are nothing but meteors. And in a star filled sky, when these meteors pass by in huge number of quantities, then they are called meteor showers. So here a number of meteors are passing through the Earth's surface and that's why they are called meteor showers. Now, so that was about shooting stars or meteors, but when they are passing by. But what if they enter the Earth's surface? What would happen then? Well, something like this would happen. So what happens that when a meteor enters the Earth's surface, the blanket around the Earth, that is the air blanket, tries to burn it. And so it shines so brightly at that moment. And then again, it just goes down to the Earth's surface, cools down and becomes a piece of rock. So these shining objects which enter the Earth's surface and create such a spectacular scene, these are called meteors. So let's understand them in detail. So in an average night, a number of meteors cross through our Earth's sky. And if you are very particular about it, that is, if you try to see them particularly, you will be able to see a number of meteors passing through the Earth's sky. But when they come in huge quantities, like I had shown you before, then they are called meteor showers. So while a single meteor passing by may not be visible to you or may miss your attention, but when there is a meteor shower, they come in quantities like this and you will definitely be able to see them. And the sight is really spectacular. So what these are exactly? Let's see. So when these meteors, that is the huge pieces of rock that come from the space and enter the Earth's surface. So you saw how they glow very strongly because the blanket around the Earth tries to burn it so that it doesn't really create any damage on our Earth's surface. So when they are burnt, they become very small and usually do not create much damage and they reach the Earth's surface. And on cooling down, they are found in these forms. That is small pieces or maybe a bit large pieces of rocks or metals. And these things which reach our Earth's surface, so meteors, when they reach our Earth's surface and become rocks or pieces of metal, in that case, they are called meteorites. So when they are flying in the air, they are called meteors. And when they reach the Earth's surface, they are called meteorites. So when these huge rock pieces are moving around in space and have not reached the Earth's surface, at that time they are called meteors. That is, when in space these rocks are called meteors. But when these huge pieces of rocks actually reach the Earth's surface, that is, when they enter the air blanket, cross the air blanket of Earth and reach the Earth's surface. Then, after reaching the Earth's surface, they become some normal rocks. But when these rocks are part of a meteor that has come from space, these rocks are called meteorites. So you see, when the meteor is in space, its name is meteor, but as soon as it reaches the Earth's surface, and cools down, becomes a rock, then it is called meteorite. So today, you learned about huge pieces of rocks which come hurtling down on the Earth's surface sometimes. And these rocks are very fascinating to see when they come in bulks. And 
that is what we call meteor showers